So uh, just to preempt any nasty comments on his behavior, uh, he, he does phone her after the game. They go to a bar, they spend the night together, and actually they engage the day after. And that will be in the sequel that we are scheduling for next year. Right, so the essence is our things think for us. They, they have relations and they make our life easier. And of course you can have objection to this, so you can say, how is this all going to work? But it's still we believe a very, very nice vision of the internet of things becoming the social web of things in a way that we will all feel familiar with. And I think we have also provided you with a marvelous argument for Facebook being around also 10 years from now, because apparently that's what we like. Now, I don't know if I should say that, but I say it anyway. Okay, um, what's on the overall agenda to make this happen? I said the path is not clear, right? But there are a few things that we can say, this is something that we need to push in order to make this happen, to have a future with the social web of things. We discussed this yesterday. I mean, attract consumers and manufacturers with generic solutions. I think that's probably the most important thing of all. I mean, we don't want industries to build different variants of this. This is one solution that everyone has got to uh, adapt to and accept. Um, we need to build as operators and enablers tools for application development to make it easy to expose network uh, capabilities to those that want to build the social web of things. Um, we, want, we need to work, and I think whole society need to work with macroeconomic priorities. I mean, health is a typical example of that if you look at the network society at large. Maybe we shouldn't build so many hospitals. Maybe we should build an ICT environment that allows people to spend time at home instead. So they never need to get to a hospital. That's a typical macroeconomic priority. What can we do in transport to connect the roads? Maybe we can make the traffic flow easier in a way using ICT so we don't need to build so many new roads. I mean, macroeconomic priorities are important. They, they have implications all for the social web of things. Integration of network is an obvious one, and we talked about it this morning. I think those that push solutions, connectivity, those that look at the applications will say, I want to have the best possible connectivity for my devices wherever they are. I don't care about what operator, what network. I want connectivity. And that is something we need to solve. 
Um, and last, of course, someone needs to develop the new services. In order to make devices think and learn, we need to create a lot of new applications and we need to build artificial intelligence into them and so on. There are other things that we really need to take seriously, and I think this can be uh, linked to the role that we have today as operators. Uh, I think we can all agree that operators, the telecom community, is at least reasonably credible, uh, and we can address this. But it pops up in all discussions that we have, that people are concerned about security. The social web of things will leave a tremendously big trace, right? Data will be collected continuously. If someone wants to map our life, they have a brilliant opportunity to do so. So data security is an extremely important thing that we need to look at. Data integrity too. I mean, every device will serve a number of different applications. If I have a connected car, I don't mind BMW to know that I drove 180 but I probably don't want the insurance company and the police to know, right? That's data integrity. We need to determine what data goes where and I need to control it. And of course, non-intrusiveness. I don't know if it's, if it's a cultural thing, but as a Swede, I hate commercials. I hate ads. But as an Ericsson employee, I like them, of course, because they make money for us. But anyway, what I want to get down to is that non-intrusiveness in the ad, in the commercial aspect, is extremely important because we don't want people to feel that someone is mapping my whole life, tailoring things for me in an intrusive way that I don't like. So we need to find a balance there, right? Okay, get it down to a core of opportunities for operators then. Device management, of course. We need to do a lot in authorization, device detection, device management to make this whole thing work. And we need to establish ways to, to have the connections work between devices in a well-defined way. We have the second thing, what we have been discussing within uh, 50B all through. Business through volume-based new subscription models. Although revenue is lower, the volume makes it profitable anyway because the margin can be sound. We need to work as operators in ICT and telecom community on integration across industries and integration across networks and drive the one standard. Service enablement will of course be important. Collect data in the network, offer data, expose network capabilities. And we need to drive standardization to a reasonable level to make this happen. And last but not least, we need to address the solutions that can meet the concerns of customers on data security, data integrity. So, it's a picture of the future. We definitely have a large portion of that if we handle things right. Now I think the industrial revolution will happen. Let's take a part in that as the telecom community. Okay, thank you.